hi everyone welcome again to my channel i am timmy banjo and if it's your first time here welcome and please consider hitting the subscribe button and if it's not your first time here welcome just give this video a thumbs up and today from the title of today's video i am going to be showing you guys what i eat on a low carb diet and once i am done with keto of course i move on to eating carbs and i like to keep it really low so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i eat how i try and make sure i am able to you know keep up with my weight loss and maintain it as much as i can and that is ju ju that just sums up to eating food that are low in carbs and so i am going to be showing you guys how i you know cook my meals prep them and also just explaining how the carbs and protein balances up in my food so if this video sounds like something you're interested in i definitely want you to keep on watching and that also means you have given this video a thumbs up if you haven't and you have also subscribed to my channel so let's just jump right into this video okay all right so for my breakfast i like to have a smoothie and my smoothie is always full my smoothie is always thick my smoothie is rich i love to have so many fruits as much as i can and i'm just having watermelon here i'm struggling with this watermelon because it was in the freezer for quite some time and i had to struggle to like cut it out or cut it down to the bit sizes that i want it to be so i'm just going to you know scrape this out as much as i can with my knife and try and prep every other of my fruits that i have here and i like to use watermelon because it's rich in water it doesn't have too much of sugar so that's also another thing because your fruit has sugar you shouldn't be taking um so much of them at night you want to make sure you take them during the day so that you know you'll be able to burn them as your source of energy throughout the day so it's not advisable for you to take sugar even in fruits at night i'm also cutting apples to my smoothie and uh, next i'm going to cut some cucumbers also to my smoothie and my leftover blueberries from my keto diet i don't want it to waste so i'm just going to rinse this and add it to the bowl of smoothie i also have this fruit i think this is apricots i found it in the market and the girl told me it's apricot fruit i tried it it tasted really nice and i decided to try it out today in my smoothie so i'm going to clean this up and um, add it to my bowl of smoothie that i am preparing so once again i'd like to explain that you should not be doing too much with your sugar like pineapples apples banana all the sweet fruits that you know of because those fruits also have sugar whether you like it or not and sugar is sugar no matter how you want to explain what sugar is so try and keep your fruits uh, mixed with um cucumbers watermelon and so many other fruits that aren't too rich in sugars and once again have your smoothies in the morning smoothies that are rich in sugar in the morning then i'm also going to add um grapes to my smoothie i'm just going to have a little bit of this the ones that i'm taking out in the sink now is what i'm having and i don't want i don't like my smoothie being too you know sugary so i just rinsed that and added it to my bowl all the things i'm adding to my bowl is what i am going to blend up for my smoothie then grapefruits i squeezed that into a cup and then this banana has just been on our rack for a long time and obviously i was on a keto diet so i couldn't make use of it so now that i am off keto <laughs> let me eat this banana now so that it doesn't spoil so i tried to add as much as i could to this smoothie that's why this smoothie came out really thick and i loved it obviously if there was no banana at home i don't think i would have put banana inside my smoothie because i don't really like sweet smoothies i like my smoothie being uh, like really really how would i put it like the healthy type of smoothie if possible a green smoothie but i had to make use of this banana because i didn't want it to waste
I poured my fruit into my blender and I'm just going to add a generous amount of flax seed because you also need fiber in your diet. So I added about three full teas, um, tablespoons of flax seed into my blender and then I poured in the grape juice that I squeezed also into my blender just so this has a water that it will easily blend with and once this is done I'm going to transfer this into my cup and drink up and the um, fruits that I had that I prepped into the bowl for my smoothie was a lot and this is like one portion I made this for myself and I made another portion for my dad also which the cup was also very full like you can see here I put this for my daddy and he loved this so much like he was asking me what did I put how did I make this and you know it tasted really nice but I did not put flaxseed inside his own because I'm sure he, do, he wouldn't have liked it then I also had a leftover you can imagine I had leftover still that's to show how much um, smoothie I had so I'm just going to pour this into a nylon or leather bag whichever one you people call it I'm going to put it inside in um, nylon it's not nylon nylon bag and tie this up and put into the freezer so when I want to have smoothie again, I don't need to start prepping and you know start um, cutting and cutting my fruits. I'll just bring it out of the freezer, blend it, add my flax seed, ch um, chia seed, whatever I need to add, and just blend it up. Also, I like to have cold smoothies, so it's just a good idea. It makes a lot of sense that I'm going to you know put this into the freezer. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So if I'm going to blend this up, I'll either pour coconut water water or grape juice just to make the blending easier so i'm just going to throw this into the freezer right now the ice tea is in for me so throughout the morning as i go on with my work this is what <laughs> this is what i'm going to have and this keeps me really full till a very long time till i think about two three in the afternoon before i decide to have my proper first meal so this obviously digests fast then the sugar there you burn it throughout the day so for my lunch now i'm having of your obviously pepper soup i can't do without pepper soup <laughs> It's, it's a it's a very huge staple in my house and i'm making catfish pepper soup today so i added pepper soup spice um cameron pepper normal pepper ginger powder garlic powder salt and my fish you guys know the drill i've made pepper soup here a lot of times so i'm going to leave a card up so you can check it out if you haven't seen meanwhile i have like a full video where i cooked or pre prepared so many low carb meals i'm also i'm going to make sure i put that also in the card so that you can check that out if you don't know um low carb meals you should have when you're on a low carb diet so i'm going to put that up in the card so you can check that out also so i like to have pepper soup because obviously the soup is water made uh, made of herbs and spices which are obviously good for your body aids digestion helps clear your colon makes your skin fresh and i'm going to put um a theory that since leaves vegetables that will help your food digest rich in vitamin c also and i'm having i'm having fish here the fats here on this fish i don't like i don't know why people like saying um catfish is fattening catfish is fattening the fat on catfish is omega acid it is good for your body and good for your skin please try and google omega 3 fatty acid people make this thing in supplements guys so it is good for your body please do not shy away from the fat on catfish it is not the bad fat the bad fat is the one that you get from cholesterol and some other um oil that they reuse and reuse and reuse like the one they used to fry puff puff so please catfish is a good fish and it is lean protein so i had this with um potato irish potatoes obviously that's the carbs i'm having my catfish here protein my soup here vegetable you know it's kind of balanced so that was my lunch very sweet now for my dinner i'm having um classic chinese fried rice so i'm going to fry up my chicken now and you know 
try and make this done i like to fry my chicken first so that is out of the way this rice <laughs> i didn't make a lot of it but the little i made i had it my dad had from it my mommy had from it and they kept asking me for more because it was sweet so i'm going to add pepper and salt to my chicken now and just spice it up so this chicken has its own independent taste I move the chicken to the side and I'm going to break eggs in my pot also and just fry this up also. I tried to move this to the side so it doesn't get sticky or it doesn't stick to the chicken. Or you can do it in a separate pan if you want to, but to save time, to save pots, to save energy and to save all our cells from stress. I just like doing this on the side. And also to continuously cooking the chicken so it is very very done like you are very sure it's done it just makes sense that you move the chicken to the side or shrimps or whatever you're having to the side and just fry your egg beside it so i'm going to take out another pot i'm going to take this out rather and then add my onions the bottom part of my green onions that's what i'm going to add first because what is a classic chinese fried rice without onion oil so i'm going to add my onion um, the bottom part of my spring onions into my pan now just so I can have onion oil which is like the most important thing in Chinese fried rice to my pan just to you know saute it and I wish I had white wine here just to deglaze this pan and <laughs> enjoy the richness now I'm adding my bell peppers my parsley red green red bell peppers and my parsley into the pan then i'm also going to go ahead and add my chopped cabbage and the rest of my spring onions to the pan also and just you know keep mixing this till it's kind of done not too hard not sorry not too soft rather but you know just to soak up some sauce and try and you know get soft a little bit then I'll pour in my chicken and egg and just mix all this together again. I'm going to go ahead and pour in some soy sauce now. I added garlic and ginger because I'm sure you'll be wondering where is the garlic and ginger. I added this but I didn't remember to you know press record when I was doing that. So I'm adding my cooked rice. This is actually leftover rice, guys. <laughs> so don't show your leftover rice, just add vegetables to it and you know mix it up and eat. So this is um the leftover rice I added to the pot and I'm just going to mix this up so that everything is evenly distributed and you know the rice is inside the vegetable the vegetable is inside the protein everything is you know going on smooth and nice that's what i'm just going to make sure i do right now so this is like a balance of vegetables protein and carbs this is like the moderate and best way to eat your rice with the um great proportion of carbs sorry the great proportion of vegetables and protein i added my carrot here then i'm also going to add i think my parsley the left over of my parsley also and my spring onions to the um rice and i like to add my onions lastly so that it is still crispy when i am eating it you guys having crispy onions inside chinese fried rice is like the crown <laughs> i don't know if you understand that but it's like the deal for me so i added that lastly so i'm just going to mix this all up and <laughs> enjoy the smell enjoy the way it looks and you can tell from the way it looks that it tasted absolutely nice so here is my chinese fried rice i shared this on my story and everybody was like oh my god this your rice looks nice oh my god how did you make it and i told them oh don't worry superman team is here no supergirl team is here i filmed it for you guys so you're gonna watch it very soon so here it is and if you aren't following me on my instagram please 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 hit the um follow button on my instagram i'm going to put that on the screen so you can follow me check out my meals the ones that don't make it here they are on my instagram i have saved tabs saved um 
highlights for you guys to check out where i save my food so you guys can check that out also so if you have made it up to this point what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button my darling and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads and if you are still watching and you haven't given this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one have a good day bye